So if a patient presents with hyperlipidemia and his QRS score necessitates the indication of a statin, it would be wise to do TSH for the patient because hyperlipidemia could be the sole presentation of hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism and statin both cause myopathy and the cumulative effect could be disastrous for the patient. Patient having fever with raised CPK and history of uh, antipsychotic drugs, it's uh, an MS until and unless proved otherwise. Normally, there is relative bradycardia and enteric fever patient. But if you find tachycardia and enteric fever patient, always suspect complications like septicemia or intestinal perforations. The diagnosis of idiopathic Parkinsonism is always clinical and the symptoms are slowly progressive and always asymmetrical. Elderly patient with iron deficiency anemia always rule out GI malignancy. If you have a patient with a suspicion of lymphoma and you want to have a confirmational diagnosis by having a biopsy of the patient, please make sure that he is not taking any oral steroids at least three weeks prior and any injectable steroids at least eight weeks prior because if you do not do so, the histopathologist might miss the inflammatory cells that he or she might want to look for. If a patient presents to you in the emergency department with bilateral pinpoint pupils and he is wet, then it is organophosphorus poisoning. And if he is having bilateral pinpoint pupil and he is dry, then it is opioid poisoning until proved otherwise.